What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can remove the clock capacitor from the original Xbox. So I've got an original Xbox here. As you can see, it's translucent green. Uh, pretty nice Halo Limited Edition, or actually a Special Edition. Um, so a little bit of background. Why would you want to remove this clock capacitor? Well, uh, apparently Microsoft cheaped out on some versions of the original Xbox and used a capacitor that over time um, would bust and, and leak fluid over the motherboard and cause damage. So um, if you got one of these old Xboxes, you want to check and uh, see what version you have and potentially remove that clock capacitor. So basically on versions 1.0 through 1.5 are the ones that have this capacitor. So there's a pretty easy way to check. You go over, turn your Xbox on, go down to settings, and then you go all the way to the bottom where it says system info. You're going to click on that. And after, uh, you know, it's going to scroll down eventually and it'll show you a kernel version. Um, and I got this kernel version info from a post on Reddit. And basically, if you have kernel version 5838, you have version 1.6 of the, of the uh, Xbox revision. And that's the one you don't need to remove. They, they basically fixed it then. So as you can see, you got K and a D. So the K is the kernel version. So I got 5101. Um, and I'll, I guess I'll show this, this chart on the screen. But that means I have between revision 1.2 and 1.5. So if you have Xbox revision 1.6, that means you have kernel version F5838. And that means you don't need to do this. But if you're like most people and you don't have 5838, you do need to remove this clock capacitor so it doesn't bust. And basically the only downside is your, uh, it won't keep your time um, on the console anymore, but not a big deal. All right, so now that you know which console you need to do it to, uh, let's go ahead and show you how to take this thing apart and remove the capacitor. All right, so here's my Xbox, and it's actually pretty simple to take this thing apart. Uh, basically, you just need to flip it over to the bottom side, and you need some screwdrivers or a screwdriver set. Um, I believe you just need a T10 Torx bit and a T20. Um, I have this little iFixit kit right here, which is pretty nice, has pretty much anything you can need. Not quite everything, but pretty close. I'll, I'll throw a link down in the description if I remember. Um, but yeah, so you flip it over. You Typically you'll have these rubber feet on the edges. Um, I took them off and I can't put them back on because the this, this console is so old that the stickiness is just gone. It's useless. Um, so I'm gonna have to get some like double-sided tape or something to, to put the feet back on. But basically you got four screws on the edges and you got two that are hidden behind these little plastic pieces. It really pained me to to break through these labels, but the other option was to try to peel it off, and I figured if I tried to peel it off, I might peel half, half the sticker off and make it look even worse, so I basically just punct punctured through those stickers. Fortunately, it's on the bottom side, so you'll never really see it unless you're looking for it, um, but basically six screws to take off on the bottom, and these are, I believe, are T20. Um, let's get my T20 bit. So like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now that we have all six screws taken out, I'm gonna flip it back over. And basically the top of the Xbox will slide off. Might have to wiggle it a little, a little bit, but it'll come off pretty, pretty easily. There we go. Just had to loosen it up a little bit. And there we go. So if you've ever taken off an Xbox 360 top, it's kind of a similar feel. And here we go. So on the bottom or inside, you got your disc drive over here got your hard drive over here. First thing you need to do is unplug um, this cable right here that goes to the hard drive. It looks, it probably looks like you're gonna break something, but you're not. You're just gonna pull it straight out. Let me zoom in on that so you can see it better. But basically, you got a clip right there. You wanna put your fingers there and basically pull to the back of the console and it'll come out pretty easily. Not too difficult. The other thing you could do is take the power cord out right here, but you'll need some needle nose pliers or something um, I'm kind of too lazy to go find those in my house. So the other option is you can unravel these wires right here out of their spot. You'll have to do this anyway, to be honest. Um, and after we get those out, we can just basically move the hard drive out of the way. So basically I just took these, uh, these wires are kind of routed through some clips. So I just took them out of the clips. Pretty easy to do. Yeah. All right, so I had to wrestle with it a little bit, but now I have the wires completely out of the clips here. And there's one screw you have to take off. I believe now you gotta switch to a, T a T10 bit. Let me try that out. If you have a different size, it might fit, but I think T10 was what it's made for technically. A little tiny screw right there, basically right next to the hard drive. 
and now you can take your entire hard drive um, your hard drive bay out so like so and that's why I told you to untangle those so you can kind of put it off to the side a little bit now you're left with your disk drive uh, pretty easy to take out as well you've got let's see if I can zoom in here and show you all right so we're zoomed in on the disk drive so right at the front of the console you got one screw down here I think you can see that on the camera and you got one more kind of down there it's kind of be hard to see on camera but you'll be able to see it in real life um, so let me go ahead and take those off and then we can take this drive out all right so not too hard to find and now the disk drive should just slide out um, and you can kind of put that off to the side as well unless you want to take all those cables out but I'm kind of too lazy to do that and so now we're at the point where we need to find the capacitor to remove so just kind of a frame of reference you got your disk drive right here is where it comes out so kind of at the front of the console so I'm gonna zoom in pretty far here all right so again disk drive right here as you can see a bunch of capacitors the one you're removing is this capacitor right here um, so it's right to the right of this really big one and right underneath it it says C7G2 and C7G3 I believe all right so I just did a little bit more research and apparently only the version 1.4 motherboard has this gold capacitor um, I'll throw a couple other pictures on the screen that show what the capacitor looks like on the version 1.0 through what version 1.3 a um, couple, couple of different setups uh, so I'll throw a picture on the screen right now that shows the one for the version 1.0 and 1.1 um, as you can see it's not it's not gold colored um, and you can kind of look at the labels and get your bearings straight and, and you can find it eventually so let's go ahead and take it off uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do this you can either desolder it which is the probably the best way to do it but the it's the more difficult way there's no not really any need to do that you can just kind of pull it off and and clip the uh, the leads so I'm gonna first attempt to just pull it off I'm gonna try to wiggle it loose and see if it comes off I'm not sure if that's gonna work but I figure we might as well try um, as I said earlier I was too lazy to go get my needle nose pliers but I'm probably gonna have to get them anyway it's definitely loosening up a bit and one thing I didn't mention earlier but obviously you should unplug your power from the console before you work on this all right so it's a little bit tight I'm, I'm gonna go get my needle nose pliers and, and try to pull this up all right so I got some needle nose pliers as you can see also got some little snips to use to uh, clip the leads off not sure if I'll need them but um, let's go ahead and try this out trying to be careful because obviously I don't want to mess anything else up but this definitely should give me some more more leverage leverage all right so there we go got it off as you can see mine is gold um, we're left with two little leads right there so I'm gonna go ahead and snip those off just to clean it up a little bit there's one and there's two bang um, not sure where the last piece went but I'll find it in a minute uh, but yeah there you go so that's how you remove your clock capacitor you're done now Hopefully when you plug everything back in, your console works and you didn't mess anything up. I should also mention that while you're in your console like this, you might as well clean it up and um, get some dust out and stuff. But uh, yeah. All right, guys. So now that true test, put everything back together. Um, haven't put all the screws back in, but we're going to test this thing out. Make sure it still works. There we go. So we got power. And so basically, as you can see, works as normal, but it's going to ask you to put in this time every time you boot it up. So let's test that out. So basically, as you saw, just turned it on, had to I had to uh, put in the time so let's go ahead and turn this thing off again and then we'll turn it back on and it should ask me for the time again all right so it actually did not ask me for the time um, I think I need to unplug my console and then then redo it so let's unplug it wait for a few seconds and I'll plug it back in and try again all right so there we are it's asking me for the time again I basically unplugged the console for like two minutes and it's up again so if the clock capacitor was still in there it would hold your time for a longer longer period of time I'm not sure how long but um, I would imagine longer than than two minutes. So yeah, basically that's the only downside. You can't keep your time, but of course, like I said earlier, it's better than a broken console. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you out. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see some more content in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.